Good evening, everybody from Disney's Hollywood Studios. So we're here today to actually take you along to Disney's sci-fi drive-in theater. I'm super excited. I have never dined here before. I have tried so many times <laughs> to get a dining reservation for this place. And every time I've tried, it's just never worked out with my trip dates. Couldn't get the right time, couldn't get the right date, but I did get it. I'm super excited to take you guys along. I'm gonna show you the fun atmosphere, show you what there is to eat. So come along, let's have dinner. So the crowds are overall not too bad on a Tuesday. I would say it's rather moderate, I would say. Not too bad, not too shabby. As we enter the restaurant, there's a little sign here, filming in progress. Do not enter when red light is flashing. <laughs> this is like a little movie set here. And then that's the hallway where you go to be seated. So when I say that I am obsessed with the atmosphere, I absolutely mean it. So we are transported to a 1950s California drive-thru. It's really cool because the wait staff is called like car hops. <laughs> I thought that was so cool. Um, I love how there's like cheesy little 50s movies playing off to my left. Um, I really feel like I'm in California. When me and hubby visited the Hollywood Hills, I really feel like I'm here. This atmosphere is just out of this world amazing. So much fun to be here. So hubby ordered the cookies and cream shake and he so generously is letting me try it. It is so creamy. And if you're a fan of Oreos, you are gonna absolutely love the shake. It is so delicious. Ice cream is super creamy. I love the cookie crumbles on top. Definitely a must try if you're a fan of Oreos. Guys, look, it's Walt. This is so cool. So for my entree, I did get the Surf and Turf Burger. This burger features a signature blend of beef and house mean seasoning, served on a brioche bun, and it was topped with a shrimp and crab cake, pepper jack cheese, chipotle hollandaise sauce, grilled onions, heirloom tomatoes, arugula, and house-made vinaigrette. So these have got to be the best onion rings on Disney property. They are so good. That little sauce here is so zesty. Honestly amazing. The onion is cooked perfectly inside. The best onion rings ever. It is worth the upcharge. <laughs> So my complaint with a lot of onion rings is that the inside onion part can be kind of like crunchy, raw tasting, not these. The onion inside is cooked perfectly. And I will say this, the onion rings are way better than the fries that Hubby got. Not that the fries are bad, they're just, I don't know, they're not as seasoned, they're okay. They just taste like regular old potatoes. But these onion rings though, <laughs> definitely give them a try. Okay, so we are now gonna move on to the Surf and Turf Burger. This thing is humongous. That bite was literally a bite of all tomato. <laughs> I'm take off the gross tomato. Yeah. Okay. All right, round two. <laughs> so the burger is very good. Um, I do get the hints of the crab cake. It is good, but really it is just kind of like a regular old burger. Not bad by any means, but I feel like I could get this kind of burger anywhere. So I hate to say this, but the meat is kind of bland. I mean, it's not bad, but it is a little bland. Um, like I said, this burger is not going to knock your socks off. It's good, but it's not the best burger I've had at Disney World. So these are actual real clips from some movies from the 1950s. And they are just so cheesy and too hilarious. <laughs> So hubby ordered the drive-in barbecue burger. What it was, it was a signature blend of beef and house meat seasoning served on a brioche bun topped with nine hours smoked pork, bourbon, bacon, jam, cheddar, lettuce, and barbecue sauce. So I am not a big pork person, so I did not try this burger. Hubby did tell me that it's pretty much just an average burger. The smoked pork did add some good flavor, but overall it really was just nothing special. What I find super cool about this restaurant is that you are actually dining inside of a car. I think that is like literally the coolest thing ever. It looks like a front seat and a back seat. And then if you want a little more room, they also have table options also. And then moving on over to here, they have little like picnic table options too. And here we have the Red Planet. So the Red Planet is a white chocolate cheesecake with spiced blueberry compote on a graham cracker tart with a matcha sponge and golden candied almonds. So for my dessert, I got the Red Planet. So as with all Disney desserts, it is too pretty to eat. I feel guilty breaking this up, but let's see. You guys can see what it looks like on the inside there. Okay, let's try the Red Planet. Mm. 
that dessert is delicious. I really taste the spiced blackberry compote. It goes perfectly with that uh, cheesecake flavor. Really, really, really delicious dessert. I have to recommend this one. And as we exit, I have to show you guys these cute little movie posters as you exit. Coming soon to this drive-in. Nerve shattering terror. The alligator people. <laughs> The amazing colossal man. Oh my lord. The cheese is real here, guys. <laughs> and outside of Sci-Fi Dine-In Restaurant, they do have a cute little photo op spot. So if you have kiddos, don't forget to take a picture. Okay, guys. So, Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater. It is a very nice restaurant. I liked it. The food was good. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. The food is not going to knock your socks off. It's good. But I feel like it's probably like Ale House type quality if you guys have ever been to like an Ale House. Um, it's kind of like your traditional type like bar food, you know, like onion rings, french fries, burgers. Food is good, but you know, it, it's not anything out of the ordinary. Um, what I'm really there for though is the atmosphere and I cannot wait to take our kiddos over there. My bonus son and my niece. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for all the fun and all the Disney magic. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!